Hey everyone, welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage on the Saturday, August 24, 2024, and we are tracking dangerous thunderstorms across parts of the United States this weekend and into early next week. We'll follow the weather pattern along all the way through Labor Day weekend and Labor Day itself to show you what you can expect through that time frame. We'll also track the tropics at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. So if you do enjoy my weather forecast, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below for the latest videos and live streams right here on Weather on the Go. Turn on all post notifications for the latest videos and live streams as well. Make sure to like the video if you do enjoy it down below. It helps out getting this video out to more and more people. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. We'll get to those later on today. So without further ado, let's dive into the forecast. And heat alerts are across the middle of the country from Canada all the way south to north Texas. In the orange, those are heat advisories. And the maroon reds into places like the Twin Cities here into western Wisconsin, those are heat watches where we are gearing up for what could be a very hot weekend and early next week ahead. And then down here into Tulsa area, into Oklahoma City and southwestward into northwest Texas, into the Wichita Falls region. Those are excessive heat warnings in the magenta shade of color and then out west in the pinks. Those are red flag warnings where wildfire concerns do continue. So let's look here at the ridge of high pressure today on this Saturday. And you can see it's down here across the southern plains, but it's elongating toward the mid-Mississippi Valley. That's why we're going to start to heat up in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley and the Tennessee Valley as we go through today. Notice the ridge starts to expand even more tomorrow on Sunday, August 25th toward the Great Lakes and the maroon reds here in that ridge start to get a little bit stronger. That means the ridge is strengthening and expanding through the weekend. So here are your high temperatures expected this afternoon. Triple digit heat all the way up into the uh, South Dakota region here, like Rapid City, for example, could be up near 100 degrees this afternoon. Same thing into Wichita, Kansas, 103 in Oklahoma City and 100 into the Dallas-Fort Worth area this afternoon. When you throw in the moisture out there, this is what it will truly feel like with the heat index to the body as you venture outdoors. 110 from Tulsa back down here into the Oklahoma City area. 112 in Wichita Falls. That's why we have that excessive heat warning and all that heat is going to be expanding further to the north and east. As we wake up tomorrow morning on Sunday, a lot of us in the middle of the country will be in the 70s if not the low 80s to start the day and that'll be a higher springboard of which to start because we're going to be well into the 90s and triple digits on Sunday afternoon and further north as well. 90s perhaps as far north as Manitoba and southwestern portions there of Ontario. And those heat index values on Sunday are going to be up to the 110 range up into Minnesota, the eastern Dakotas, Iowa, into Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri. So it's really going to start to expand a little bit further to the north and east. Now, with all the heat in mind, this is going to bring chances for showers and thunderstorms. We had a disturbance move across the northern Rockies yesterday on Friday, August 23rd. Did bring some damaging winds into places like Idaho, into Montana, especially even a couple of landspout tornadoes there in eastern Colorado. So we did see that yesterday more of the same as we go through today, more of that isolated coverage for strong to severe storms from the panhandle in Nebraska through Colorado, back down into parts of Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico, and a couple areas over here in western Oklahoma and western Missouri that we'll have to watch for some isolated strong storms. Then as we go into Sunday, that shifts a little bit further east and also ratchets up a little bit. We have a level two out of five slight risk in the yellow here from northwest Minnesota into the eastern Dakotas. We also have a level one out of five margin risk into places like Detroit, Akron, over there toward even the Pittsburgh region as we go into Sunday that we'll have to watch. So going into the afternoon, isolated storm coverage. And notice a lot of the coverage is very, very isolated, okay? So not everybody's going to see a storm. But if you get under one, it definitely could help out with, uh, you know, alleviating some of the heat out there. Going into the evening hours, that's when the peak of the coverage and intensity of these storms will be, and then they'll start to fall off after the sun sets as we stabilize the atmosphere, and then we'll do it all over again on Sunday afternoon. You can see isolated, maybe a little bit more scattered coverage Sunday afternoon versus today, and then you can see that continues into Sunday evening before, again, the sun sets, and we stabilize the atmosphere. Here is the rainfall totals overall through Monday morning on August 26th, and notice how widespread 
the dry weather is. So not a lot of people will be seeing these thunderstorms, only 20, 30% of us through the weekend that could see that, and those could be severe. So we'll be watching out for that as we go through the weekend. Heading into early next week, Monday, August 26th, that ridge really starts to build across the Midwest into the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley region, and that continues as we go into Tuesday before a cold front swings through the middle of the country by the middle of next week. And before that happens, let's look at your high temperatures Monday after Afternoon as we head back to work and back to school and you can see triple digit heat for highs all the way up here into places like Des Moines 101 in Des Moines 106 into Omaha and 102 into the Kansas City region and Wichita into Kansas and Missouri so we're gonna have to watch out for that and make sure we're staying hydrated because those heat index values are going to be pushing 115, 120 potentially in some of these areas like Des Moines and Cedar Rapids up into the Twin Cities region and Omaha. So I expect more of these excessive heat watches and warnings and heat advisories to be issued as we go into Monday. And then same thing into Tuesday. You can see a cold front sweeping through. But the heat sticks around for portions of the lower Midwest and the Ohio Valley Great Lakes region, and that'll push us back into the 112 range, for example. Into Chicago, the lakefront could be very hot there Tuesday afternoon. 111 in the lakefront there into Milwaukee, and 106 with the heat index over there into Detroit. So it's really going to start to heat up after what has been a cool spell across this region. And overall, through next week, it's going to be a warm week across most of the Great Lakes region. We could be seeing temperatures easily 15, 20 degrees above the norm for the end of August, so definitely keeping an eye on that. That is leading to a lot of storm energy out there. Your convective available potential energy is high. You can see the grays and blacks here. That's easily 5,000, 6,000 joules per kilogram there on Monday. During the day on Monday, we could be seeing some severe weather all the way over here as far east as the northeast in the I-95 corridor. We have that level one out of five marginal risk. We have that extending back there toward the Rockies and the Plains, but we also have that level two out of five slight risk in the yellow from Wisconsin into parts of Minnesota and northwest Iowa and into eastern and central South Dakota. We'll be keeping an eye on some significant severe weather potential there. During the day on Monday, more isolated coverage, but into the evening, we could have one of those convective systems or clusters of severe storms revolving around that heat dome and that definitely could be leading to some very big hail a two three inch diameter type hail those 70, 75 mile per hour wind gusts and perhaps even a couple of tornadoes. And then a lot of that energy is gonna move a little further east. That cold front's gonna get rid of it for the upper Midwest, but the lower Midwest, Ohio Valley, Great Lakes region is gonna be high with energy again, up to 6,000 joules per kilogram on Tuesday. And there's another day four, slight risk of severe weather across places there like Dubuque, Iowa, Milwaukee, Chicago, Green Bay, Madison, over here in the Grand Rapids, into portions there of Lansing and all also Detroit, and that could be as far south as Toledo as well as we go into Tuesday. So we'll be watching out Tuesday, scattered storms during the morning, and then maybe another cluster of some bigger storms in the afternoon and evening. We definitely will be watching that, and those could again uh, potentially produce some significant hail, two, three inches in diameter, 70, 75 mile per hour winds, and a couple of tornadoes. Overall, here is the rainfall totals next week between Monday, August 26th, and Friday, August 30th. You can see the heaviest rains of a couple of inches across the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes, parts of the Northeast. Very dry it is in the Southeast and especially out West where we are remaining dry through next week. Heading into next weekend, this is Labor Day weekend now, Saturday, August 31st as we end the month and open a new chapter to Sunday, uh, September 1st. Notice the ridge is still over here, but not as strong across the east. And we have a little bit of troughing trying to develop across the desert southwest. So that's going to kind of cool us off across the Rockies. We'll start to warm up, though, across Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, and even southwestern Canada and British Columbia by that Labor Day weekend time frame. And then the heat still sticking around, but easing across the east as we go into that time frame. Here are precipitation prospects during that time. Saturday, August 31st, looks pretty dry, maybe a couple showers or storms there up there toward the northeast coast maybe a couple showers and storms from kansas southward toward texas a little bit more activity potentially thunderstorm activity for places like lincoln nebraska des moines omaha kansas city and st louis as we go into sunday as we go into september 1st and then labor day itself on monday uh, september 2nd we could be seeing some showers and storms from detroit back through chicago and milwaukee that could extend back there toward kansas city oklahoma city and dallas we'll keep an eye on that 
pretty dry overall out west of the Rockies as we go into Labor Day itself. Pretty heavy rainfall, though, during this period between Saturday, August 31st and Monday, September 2nd. We could be seeing some decent rains from Chicago, Milwaukee, all the way back through Des Moines into Kansas City, Lincoln, Nebraska, Wichita, Topeka, back into the Oklahoma City area, Amarillo. We could be seeing a couple of inches on the order of one, two, even three inches worth of rain during that time frame. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Here's your tropical weather update. Here is the latest satellite imagery of the North Atlantic Basin. Very quiet here. We have some convection off of the African coast. That is very weak here, and we have some convection over here in the Caribbean and also the Western Atlantic. Nothing to worry about here, and the National Hurricane Center is saying the same thing. Nothing to worry about over the next seven days, so no reason to panic or anything like that. But looking ahead into early September, things start to become a little bit more interesting, if you will, and you can see, and especially that second week of September, we could have those tropical waves coming off of the African coast and taking a run at the Caribbean or even the Bahamas potentially as we go through that September 10th time frame. So that's the time frame we're going to have to watch September 1st through September 10th, the first 10 days of the month of September. And we'll do that right here for you on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below, turn on all post notifications for the latest videos and live streams. So you have them right there at your fingertips. Make sure to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below, and also leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll always answer all those as we go later on into the day. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful rest of your weekend out there.